Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The honorable of judges, the honorable of comedy, and the audience How are you today, everybody? I hope that you are in a good condition, especially during COVID-19 pandemic My name is Nur Fariha I am now majoring in Logistic Engineering at Semen Indonesia International University First of all, I would like to thank the comedy for giving me the opportunity to deliver my speech on a topic for a better society Ladies and gentlemen, as I start, I want to ask you something. What do you think will happen to the world after 10 years? Destruction? Annihilation? Or even mass death? I remember Professor Albus Percival Walford Brian Dumbledore said something like this. Happiness can be found even in the darkness of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. From there I thought, a plan is needed to a better world life. We are already in the era of 4.0 revolution. Too many humans and machines here. Today, the world is being destroyed. Crisis everywhere. Not just hunger and COVID-19 cases. In Indonesia, it's more heartbreaking. In Indonesia, there is a crisis of conscience in its government. The definition of justice, which is injustice, is really applied. And when we look deeper, perhaps, if you just want to say it, how pathetic this country is. Therefore, help is needed to help the helpless people. Or they are not being helped on purpose? I don't know. Only God knows the truth. And Mr. and Madam, all the rulers may also know. It's just a few cases that happens. Then how about the whole of the world? Is Indonesia the worst case? How about Black Lives Matter in America? anti-violence demonstration in Mexico, anti-police protest in Bogota, Colombia, monarchy reform demonstration in Thailand, demonstration against of the new law in Hong Kong, demonstration of pharmacy awareness in South Africa, rejection of election results <coughs> in Belarus, demonstration to denounce the racism of President Rodrigo Duterte in Philippines, and demonstration to denounce President Macron for insulting the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that occurred in many countries. Actually, we need a sincere heart to improve the social system, which is getting more damaged today. We need brains that are not only intelligent but also have a conscience to keep the progress of the green-eyed smart guy. We need a lot of pure-hearted people to answer properly to the world. And we still need many other things. But where can we find it all? Then with all this, an innocent idea came up. Why don't we make an innovation, something that can make people think that life is not that difficult, something that can make the earth healthy again. But what? Is it an application, or a program, or a new product, or whatever? It just won't go viral in just a few days. What use is all that greatness in just a few days? If the effect is to destroy the order of life and hurt the earth, better don't do it. Actually, we need a synergy, not just a program or application, but a strong volition of self to alter for the better. Many good deeds we can do, for example, by being generous, many people will be helped. 
or with honest many things will be saved from destruction or just by reducing the trust the earth will feel better and there are so many other things we can do sometimes it doesn't have to be with a great plan and everything we have to save the world just change yourself to be better then the world will get better it may take time but i believe great things need doesn't need time all great things start small so be patient and persistent to wait the great thing happens then if you can't change the bad habits into the good ones don't expect the world to get better many people are ignorant many people are pathetic but don't look right and left look for yourself like what Sirius Black said to Harry Potter we've all got both light and dark inside us what matters is the part we choose to act on that's who we really are remember Laziness will only make you more difficult. Hate feeling will only make you more hostile. Jealousy will only make you not confident. <coughs> and let's fight all of that badness to be better for a better world. Okay, everyone, that is all. I hope that you can get some points on my speech. I apologize for the words that are less pleasing to all of you. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.